spoiling it and taking advantage of people ignorant that didn't prepare for that. Now here's the new army to this day. This is what they tell you, war, war, war. And I always find these disturbers on any planet they're on and take care of their ass. No matter where they at. Jones, that's what it felt like. It felt like he was violating me. I told him that. When Wilson grabbed Pan, he and another officer took him down. The officers cuffed Wilson, raised his arms behind his back, and eventually shot him with a stun gun. All in front of the camera. Didn't even care that the camera was there. Because they just done fucked us up and dogged us so much. That they don't care if they get witness seeing doing this. If anybody see them doing it, they don't care. They know the camera is there. It's their camera. See? Talking about ignorance. Now imagine that. They got a camera there to report on everything that goes wrong so it can be used in the court of law to, to make people become found guilty. That's what the cameras are for, to protect them in law. You know what I'm saying? To help them build a case against people. And then they go, now these is this wise police that we got out there responsible for us every day. They can't even commit a crime themselves without getting freaking evidence of their crime in their own camera and then for it to actually surface out here into the world where we can actually see it. See this is why everything is so screwed up because we got in irresponsible low witted people like that running everything. And it all started from this bullshit you see right here. When they stole they stole our religion from us, and it is them fabricating and plagiarizing it to make it all become whitewashed. And you look around in there, and I guarantee you, you're going to see all men in there. All right? They ain't going to have nothing to do with women. All right? The same way the Vatican started, and all the other centers of faggot-ass men. See, this is what you're looking at right now. And I'm not saying this to be mean or hateful. I'm saying this to let you know that from here, these people kept on coming up with more plans and elaborate scheming and wickedness and wars and you name it. All while they hid in the confinements of their little offices amongst themselves and then do anything all day and self-implement policy after policy after policy to become the world ruling bastard greedy ass faggots that they are today. You got everybody oppressed, everybody going through where am I going to get money to pay this bill. Everybody paying everything to these people. As they lie and try to sit in the seat of God with no goddess, okay? And then we all sitting here supposed to sit around and be dumb as hell and let them perpetuate, implement, and actually progress World War III on us. So they can all remain sitting up in a little faggot closet with each other with a bunch of money that they're never going to be able to spend, you know? And they don't care about all of the wickedness that they have used to make the decadence and the sorrow, tears, and bloodshed and the states of not having anything that they have done to the world. They constantly making new drugs, new weapons, new religious propaganda that make people even more subservient to Jesus than they are now, believe it or not. You know, this is all they ever going to do all their life is find a way to keep you on your knees praying to the image of a dead white man as your method of becoming something great. And of course, they give you everything on a damn sketch. Okay, when we can give you every all our stuff that goes back through antiquity and stone. Alright? And then here they go, as you can see, everything whitewashed, okay? All of their ass is just looking, you know, just weird the way they want to look. It's like, what is, what is it? I don't understand it. What is it? You see, but this is supposed to be something that has something to do with spirituality and resurrection and things like that. But 
you know, it just has no real anything to it. It's just a bunch. And I'm just telling you the truth. What is it? What is it supposed to represent? It can be resurrection. All right, because if it's resurrection, you, you're all being caught up in the air. But then when the spaceships are here in the air, you're all afraid of them. Because then it's not your Jesus. So you want to try to overlook it. Because you need it to be your Jesus in order for you to be getting salvation from all the horrible shit that you've done to us melanated people throughout your religion. And we all know that's what the circumstance is. That's why you want to sit here and think that you're going to try to overlook me and overlook the circumstances. That's your circumstances by me being here as a part of the, the most important part of your circumstance. Because see, my circumstance of being here is because your circumstances happen to be judgment. And I happen to be the judgment bringer. And if you really, really want some true sustainment of that, you just need to start paying more attention to what I tell you is going to happen and see how fast it happens. Now all this Michelangelo stuff right here ain't got a damn thing to do and can't be the center attraction piece for the whole story of reincarnation and immortality. It's just, it's not complete enough for that. It doesn't have hardly any women in it. I don't see one baby hardly in there anywhere, okay? There is no trees, no fish, no anything, just white men, pretty much. Okay? So the reason I point all these things out is because the world and everybody on it is going to have to be really serious about trying to fabricate an existence around your conceptualization where truth has a place that it can be resting and launched from. It's real simple. We're missing that in this world. And somewhere or the other, that's going to have to be returned. Now that's just all to it. I hate to be the one to tell you that, but it's just the truth. May I Hotel. This is a picture of Vancouver, Washington. I took this picture like about well, it was a minute ago. But as you can see, this is the neighborhood I used to ride through when I was scrapping. Everything was all right. Most of the people around here didn't get me any trouble. Most of the people around here were really decent. They used to um, do everything they could to try to help me. They used to even, they were all, a lot of these people was aware of the controversy that some people found it tasteless and offensive to their existence that I was riding through the alleys trying to savage stuff to make a living for myself. Where the other people, which was the general public, 65 to 70 percent of the people were all for it. They would greet me with smiles and genuine concern about how is I'm doing, you know, how's your day going, all that good stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But then there was the ones who just for some reason wanted to see me as a threat, you know, no matter how harmless and privileged I was at doing what I was doing. I always had altercations and confrontation from police and people in the alley that would actually leave their own house and be not even at the vicinity of their house. I'm like way down the alley and they come walking down the alley from where their yard is. What are you doing back here? And I'm like looking at them like, I'm 50 years old. What the hell you mean what am I doing back here? I live on this earth. So contrary to what you think of your conceptualization that I shouldn't be allowed to walk on it because that's how you white people have been forever. I'm going to walk wherever I want to go on this earth. And you shouldn't have never put up all these fences and all these down. And then your damn cam trails too. Everything about you on this earth make you for some reason believe that you have the right to just harass people. See, I want you to see how long my family has been here with me. That's where I put this on. This is like about a year and a half ago. All right, I will tell you how long this orb has been here. These orbs have been here watching and recording everything for at least 10 years that I know of. It, I know for a fact these things have been having interaction with me for 10 years. When my body started having the changes that it was going through, just like Morris Donaldson talking about the change in the DNA structure and all that, I know exactly what he's talking about. I thought I was dying. I read that book, The Serpent Power Energy, 
how you activate your kundalini energy and everything about me started working off of the frequency of time just like you said you're looking at real good you're going to see my peeps in there flying around we are war this day too you see the debris falling out of the sky you just keep your eye in there real good whatever they kicking the shit out of in outer space pieces of it is falling to the earth and they're coming here down here to the earth to intercept those pieces and shoot them up into small fragments so when they hit the ground they don't cause damage to the ground structures. I'm telling you that's what's going on. That's, this is going to be hard for you to believe but I'm telling you the truth right now. We are having a war our way far out into space and we're blowing up ships that's so damn big that pieces of the fragments from those ships are falling to the earth and taking a chance of striking people here on the ground and killing them or destroying their houses. And I have ships flying all through those ethers, way below the battlefield, whose specific mission is to find these pieces of coagulant material falling to the earth and to disintegrate it. And that's what is going on. These light orbs, though they look close to the earth, is way far back behind the sun. They are so big, that's the reason they look like they're so close. But those things are so big, I'm going to tell you something, some of those spaceships are over 2,600 miles wide. I'm not lying to you. That's how big they are. We have, listen, when we take those things home and park them, we park those things upright. This is the truth of them. Not, the, not these really, really big ones that you see right here. But we got some that when you take them home, they never change their structure. They always stay in hardened structure. Hard profile. Hard profile is not light ships. They are ships that's composed from people that make them the same way your ships, like your battleships are on Earth. We have some ships like that too that's made from metal ores. Alright, here go what's going on. These ships are part-time building structures because when they go back home to the city they live in, they don't go into a hangar and sit in a hangar and all that bullshit like that. They park themselves upright and then lay on the planet like a building skyscraper. And the people who fly those ships actually live in those dwellings when they're at home, at base. The ship is their confined, you know, like just like I, I live in a house right here. Well, if these ships have the houses inside of them where the people live in these ships forever their whole lives and everything of modern technology that you can imagine and how we use our minds are so available to us that our whole lives are forever immortality and we don't do anything but go to and from different planets and we travel to different planets by creating wormholes is what you guys call them here but they're portals or universal uteruses and that's what we do. We go through suns too, and suns spit us out into different dimensions. We can telepath through sunlight currents. That means, like, you see those X's right there? We can ride through that light and go to other places just by getting into the Stargate and riding the Stargate out. A lot of people ride the Stargate here to Earth. That's that green light that you see in the middle that I tell you I came here from. You got to remember something, there's a lot of distance between the sun in here, even though this camera that I take all these pictures with is a handheld Sony camcorder, that 990X is what, what this camera is. I bet you this camera is every bit of 11 years old or something like that. If it's not 11 years old, it's 8 or 9 years old. And it actually take these pictures. I took these pictures right here in Vancouver, Washington. This is where these pictures were taken at. This was last year. I think I'm over there at Iron Gate Storage. If I'm not at Iron Gate Storage, I'm over there on the other side of Iron Gate Storage. Somewhere near Lincoln and um, Fort Plain and um, Kaufman and Fort Plain. Somewhere in that area is where I'm at and on one of those streets. And I stopped to take pictures because my mind told me 